dot to be faced with, actually. Livoni would have hoped for something easier to start with than that shot. Now Mark knows that uh, the red is playing. He crashes into the one below it. So again, he's got no real control. But the blue's quite close to the middle. He should have a shot at that one. And that's fine. Wow. Not very well played. Six. No, by no means. And I don't see any reason why he couldn't have had a lot more control over that shot. It wasn't like he was close to the side cushion. And when I mean, he's got a hand on the table, he can either run through and hit the side cushion first or just misjudged it completely. Mark Davis, six. Well, this could be the chance that O'Sullivan has been hoping for. The red passes the other one. Fifteen. Sixteen. Now, how's he going to negotiate this? He looked at the reds down the cushion. Could play on the other one, but Ronnie never seems to shirk the issue. If he's straight on this, it's not so bad. Twenty. Ten in front. He's checked the scores. Plenty more work to be done. Twenty-four. Things start, start to get more awkward. 31. If he's considering 32. the cannon on the left hand red. Well, you need them both. Just checking that. And he's played a cannon. <laughs> need now 26 points. So, 39. as I say, requires the other red as well. Taking these pretty well. 40. And he knows that he won't need to play on a colour from this. That might make a difference. Mind you, the way he's got the angle here, he has no option. So, frame ball. 47. This will take away a lot of nerves, I think, if this goes in for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Very, very nice. 48. Well, not as usual standard of positional play for the yellow, 55. but uh, it's too late to make any material difference to this frame. Fifty-seven. 
left handed. Sixty. So after 20 minutes of bits and pieces. 69. O'Sullivan clinches the opening frame. 5. 